From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. New Concept Mining, which is part of Swedish headquarters Epiroc, in September launched its hydraulic rock drill, or HRD, manufacturing plant in Eriton, Johannesburg. Tasneem Bulbulia tells us more. Epiroc manufactures mining and infrastructure equipment. New Concept Mining is a South African ground support solutions provider. It was acquired by Apiroc in 2019 and became New Concept Mining powered by Apiroc or New Concept Mining. This acquisition combined the specialized ground support solutions of New Concept Mining and the global reach of Apiroc. Apiroc ground support product development head Greg Knox expands on the decision to move the HRD manufacturing plant from Sweden to South Africa and how this project unfolded. The HRD was originally developed um, in Sweden uh, for the South African market primarily. Um, and in the beginning of 2023, we said we were going to move it to South Africa as the majority of the market was in South Africa. Some of the components were being produced in South Africa, shipped to Sweden, assembled and shipped back to South Africa. So it made logical sense to make it a South African product. Um, uh, the addition of moving it to South Africa means that we're able to uh, support the product better as the R&D engineers who will be developing the product portfolio forward are based here in Johannesburg and it gives them easy and quick access to the mine, understanding how the people are using the mine, the operators, are use, the operators in the mine are using the equipment. Um, and gives us just a better understanding of the way in which equipment is being used and, and dealing with the faults when they're found um, so that we can continually improve the product going forward. So the, the primary reason is, is uh, speed and efficiency. The, the drill's purpose is speed and efficiency and we want to be able to support the, the, um, the product in the most efficient manner possible. So having production here in South Africa, having all the support services for the product here in South Africa just ensures that we are able to service the market in the most efficient manner possible. This was a, a very exciting project. Um, the New Concept Mining team has been predominantly based for production purposes in South Africa. Um, and this time we were taking production personnel from South Africa to Sweden to understand the production process and decommission the line as well. Um, so it was a new experience for some of the operators to travel to, to Sweden, pack up uh, a production line in Sweden and also look at the different ways in which uh, production, production is done in Sweden. Knox expands on the new plant and how it would operate and some benefits of HRD drills. The HRD um, assembly plant has actually been located within the ground support um, facility. So the ground support facility produces around uh, 10 million support units a year. Um, that is the, the focus and the, the primary majority of the um, production. The HRD production, we're looking at it by around 12 units a day that we're planning on producing at the moment. Um, and But it's, it is scalable, so we can actually increase that closer to 100 units a day if required. We're not going to be adding in any additional workforce as part of the, the, this process. Um, we are actually reallocating and upskilling a, a portion of our current workforce um, to, to be able to service the production facility. The, the location here, it, it's, it's very well positioned uh, from a perspective of getting steel in. We still have a very high quality of steel in South Africa and a good source. So we, a large portion of our steel comes from just down the road in Thunderbell Park. Um, and then uh, it's also quite a good location for access to the Rustenburg area, which is where a large number of the products still go on a daily basis. Um, and then we can also get quick, easy access to the Durban port for all our export business. So the, the primary focus with the, with the HRD is efficiency and um, improving the environmental conditions which the rock drill audio operators actually work in. So we all know within the South African mining industry, the audio operators are an extremely hardy bunch of uh, personnel. Um, and th there is a reduction in the number of new people wanting to be audios, primarily due to the, the harsh working environments and the high noise and vibration levels which they're typically exposed to. So part of the, the, the design criteria for the HRD was to reduce the vibration and reduce the uh, period of exposure of vibration as well. That along with um, removing the, the need to 
inject grease into the pneumatic supply line for lubrication of the drill means we're reducing the amount of um, uh, grease mist that is of currently the, the operators are currently exposed to. The HRDs from the new plant are slated to be 100% ready for the South African market by next year. Knox expands on other developments that are now also being targeted. The plan really in, in terms of um, the electrification modernization of the, the conventional stope is to allow us to access or garner data from the stope to improve efficiencies. So what we're doing at the moment is we've got the HRD which is the one of the, the the rock drill is one of the primary consumers of pneumatic power within the stope, but there are a number of accessories around when we're talking about blast hole cleaners, chainsaws, electri uh, well, electric, uh, pneumatic uh, water pumps that are currently in the, in the stope as well as um, the explosive pumps as well. Uh, so the, the process now will be we will be methodically changing every single one of those components onto either an electrical battery source um, so that we can reduce the dependency of the conventional stope on um, pneumatic power and reduce the infrastructure requirement in equipping a stope. The company also boasts testing capabilities at its ground support facility. Knox explains. In 2017, um, Epiroc, uh, well at the time it was New Concept Mining, uh, decided to invest in uh, testing facilities that would allow us to ensure that we are global players. So historically the testing was being done with uh, flying samples and engineers through to Canada to run the tests. We uh, invested in a drop test facility to be able to test uh, bolts under seismic loading conditions. Um, it is not a direct simulation but it's an approximation of, of a high strain rate loading event. That is one of the pieces of equipment. From there, we've uh, developed a combination shear and tensile tester to understand the performance of a rock bolt when loaded uh, in shear or any combination loading, which is more realistic loading case. Um, that is one of two pieces of equipment in the world. Knox also touches on the company's sustainability initiatives. We are a production facility so we're quite heavily reliant on the um, electrical infrastructure of the country and we all know the challenges which we've recently seen. Um, a large portion of what we've done is we've uh, implemented 1.3 megawatt solar power system and that's just phase one. We're busy working towards uh, going on to a battery uh, powered system as backup um, and increasing our solar capacity. That's Kruma Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.